Nvidia won't release the RTX 3050 Ti Desktop Edition. Here's why. And before, before we get into this video, I'm wearing a dressing gown, it's cold outside. Enjoy. Obviously, with the current global chip shortage, it's been very hard to get your hands on a new GPU. And Nvidia just keep releasing these high-end desktop graphics cards, even though that's not what the consumers want. But they could have some reason behind it. Nvidia have already released the RTX 3050 Ti in laptop form, which begs the question, why haven't they released the desktop version? Surely it would be easy to manufacture due to the lower quality silicon, right? And it would also cover the majority of the market because majority of the market uses low end system hardware rather than high end. So why won't they do it? Well, I have a few speculations. First of all, prices have been largely inflated due to limited stock and scalpers selling them for ridiculously high prices. I know that MSRP doesn't actually exist as board partners decided what they price their products as, but if we go off MSRP, some prices are more than 250% more. I reckon Nvidia are delaying the launch of these cards as much as possible, so that they can release as many of them as possible at the lowest price possible. If they were to release them as of right now, Prices would be so high that the lower end market, which is the consumer, would not be able to buy them thanks to scalpers buying them and selling them. But there is some good news highlighted by 3D Center, which analyzed the graphics card prices since January this year. Since May, prices have dropped by 113%, which is significant. This brings prices down in the US to about 191% MSRP, which Mind you, still isn't great, but it's not bad. So if things continue the way that they are, we could see the RTX 3050 Ti being released sometime in September. My guess is September 17th. The second reason as to why they haven't released the 3050 Ti is probably because they want to have as much stock as possible so that they can redeem themselves from failed launches like the 3060. The 3050 Ti will most likely be the redeeming card, as it at some point will have the most stock out of all the 3000 series cards. This is the sort of launch that Nvidia won at a reasonable price, whilst also being pretty available. As to the specs of the 3050 Ti, there isn't too much information yet, but my speculation are these specs. 6 gigs of GDDR6, roughly 2800 CUDA cores, 24 RT cores, and a 192-bit bus. This would make it a compelling offer for anyone looking for a 1080p high refresh rate experience. In terms of relative performance, I'd say it would probably rank near a 1660 Ti and a 2060. But all of this is just speculation at this point, so let me know what you think down in the comments. Subscribe for more tech news.